So today we're gonna to dive into how to install template files on Mac, Windows, and Linux. So before we get started, we need to know if we're installing a Fusion title or if we're installing a Fusion template. They're both pretty similar, but they do have some differences. So in the past, I believe they used to use symbolic linking. They don't use that anymore, which makes it a little easier to explain how to install because it's the same across all platforms now. And I kind of hope that in the future, they'll have a uh, an easier way to get access to where we're going. But as long as you follow along, you should be uh, pretty good to install across all platforms. So, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the color page. Now you might be saying, why the color page? It's the easiest way to get to the folder structure so that no one gets lost in going diving into folders. You might have it installed on a different drive. It doesn't matter because this is gonna go to exactly where DaVinci Resolve is installed on your system. And then we're gonna come up to LUTs. And then in this LUTs folder, this is typically where you're going to add your LUTs, uh, but we're gonna use it just to get to that folder structure. We're gonna come up here and click on open file location and it's gonna take us right to where the LUTs are. Now, if you're installing LUTs, boom, this is where you put them. But we're obviously not installing LUTs. So what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to go back a couple of folders. As you can see across the top here, this is the same for if you're in Windows, Mac, and Linux, which makes this a lot easier to explain. I don't have to launch each operating system. We're gonna go back to DaVinci Resolve. Once we're in the DaVinci Resolve directory or DaVinci Resolve folder, we're gonna go into Fusion and then in the Fusion folder, we're gonna go down to Templates. Once in Templates, now this is where we're gonna go separate ways. If you're installing a Fusion macro or a Fusion template, you're gonna go into Fusion. If you're installing a Fusion, or excuse me, a Fusion title, which would be used on the edit page, we're gonna go into edit. So most titles uh, or most of these presets, most people are gonna be adding titles. So we're gonna to go to the edit page, and then in here, it, there's a, an area for titles. We're gonna click on that. And then we're gonna bring all of our titles into here. Once we bring them into here, we're gonna have to start up DaVinci Resolve again. And then you'll, you should be able to see them on the edit page. If you are installing uh, templates for Fusion, we're gonna uh, be on the templates. Within Fusion, we're gonna go to the templates, and then we're gonna go into Fusion. So the difference between here is just what page that we're adding these onto. Edit page, we add on for the edit page, and those have to be made a specific way, so you can't take all of the um, Fusion title or Fusion templates and put them on the edit page. They're both created a little bit differently, but you can take all of the uh, uh, titles that would be for the edit page and open them in the Fusion tab. So just wanted to let you know that. Once in the Fusion, once we're in DaVinci Resolve Fusion Titles Fusion, this is now going to show up in the Fusion page under titles, or excuse me, under templates. Hopefully I didn't lose you there. So once we have the titles installed on the edit page now, if we come up to the effects library, and go into titles, we'll now say Fusion Titles. Here will be all the titles that we now have access to, whichever titles you bring in. DaVinci Resolve 15 titles are pretty much the same as DaVinci Resolve 16 titles. So any 15 titles you can bring into 16. But if the creator of the titles uses tools from DaVinci Resolve 16, they are not backwards compatible because those tools don't exist in 15. Hopefully you follow me there too. So bring a title in, we bring it in. And because these titles are macros, they also have the, the, the macro menu. And what I mean by that and why I said that the fusion titles are made a little bit differently is because they have to have that macro title. So we come in, a, or excuse me, macro menu we come in a little bit and here's where we have all of the different menus to uh work on this particular title if you have just a fusion uh dot settings file that is just a template file those files do not have to have um a macro menu and let me show you why so if i come over here and let me actually make a Fusion comp just so we can go over into Fusion and I'll show you one of them. We can come up to 
the effects library, and then go into templates. And now here is where all of the fusion stuff was. So when we went into that uh, folder and it was the edit or the fusion, when you go into fusion, it drops it in here. The fusion templates, like I was saying, they don't have to have that menu. And the reason why is because depending on how they're made, when you bring them in, they'll have multiple nodes. It's just like a pre-made pre node tree. Um, so like this, I have a whole particle system. Open this up. I have a whole bunch of nodes that now I have the ability to edit. They're both done a little bit differently. Uh, Fusion titles are set up to just be used on the title page. They work a little bit differently because some of the stuff is stripped out. Like we don't have the ability to do this. So if I come back over and I come into, let's say this particular title in Fusion, I'm only going to see that one node with that menu. So that's where they're a little bit different. On my website, I am now categorizing everything. If it's a fusion template, if it's a fusion title, if it's a macro, because you can also have macros on, let me show you, let's go back into fusion. You can also have macros on the fusion page. So let me just get rid of all of this. So our um, transitions are actually macros. So they have multiple inputs. They work the same way as a node would. They have the ability to change a couple parameters, but they're just an easier to use node so that you don't have to worry about all these other nodes. And the cool thing about having this stuff on the Fusion page is you can do cool things like timing. So if I only wanted a transition to be 10 frames, I could change the timing of the transition to work with that, as well as a couple of other cool things that you can do only in the Fusion uh, page. And having a Fusion macro sometimes makes that a little bit easier. So that's how you install templates for DaVinci Resolve 16. If you previously had uh, DaVinci Resolve before 16, like if you had it in the 15s or even before that, those symbolic links were already created. So the other locations um, now have that ability. As you've seen in my uh, template folder, I have a whole bunch of stuff here. But if you look at the actual file structure, let's come back over and open this up and take a look here. And then I come back and I open up Fusion come into here, come into Fusion itself, you can see that I don't have anything here. And it's just because my system already has those, those that linking system and the old way of installing stuff still works for my system. Anyone that's installing DaVinci Resolve 16 as a clean, it's not doing all of the uh, linking anymore. So that's why those ways don't really work or you might have issues where stuff's not showing up if you're following a DaVinci Resolve 15 how to install guide. So that's kind of why I wanted to make this to just kind of clear, clear everything up for the people that are struggling with installing stuff in DaVinci Resolve 16. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And with that being said, my name's JR. Thanks for watching.